Egypt is probably the most important country in the Middle East and Africa when it comes to aviation. It's certainly been going for a long time with the business there. And, and airlines from across the world come into Cairo, its capital. We're with the Minister of Aviation for Egypt, His, His Excellency Sharif Al Fatih. Your Excellency, Egypt, we're saying how important it is, but it's been a challenge in, in recent years with um, first the revolution and then some of the security issues. How is it going now? Are things improving? It is improving, and I thank you for uh, raising this question, Adam. Um, the civil aviation in Egypt was uh, uh, the pioneering, how do you call it, uh, uh, or Egypt was the pioneering country in civil aviation in uh, Africa and the Middle East. Uh, however, uh, it had some challenges, and as you uh, rightly said, we had revolution, we had also some, uh, um, I, I wouldn't say security challenges, uh, it was more of uh, unmanaged, uh, um, how do you call it, uh, uh, media statements and also uh, uh, statements that were not based on true facts about airport security and this kind of stuff. And our reaction to that was extremely open. We allowed uh, auditors to come from the rest of the world or from everywhere in the world. And every time they came in, they proved that uh, what we have is as per the international standard. Uh, we also went further and reviewed our um, uh, how call it, security devices or security uh, equipment we use. Uh, we spent in just three airports more than uh, $60 million uh, in, in less than a year and a half modernizing the uh, 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 equipment we have at the airports, uh, despite the fact that none of the auditors made any remark on the equipment we had at the airports. What we had was good enough, but it's a decision that we have taken that we need to modernize uh, equipment and also the uh, operating procedures at our airports. Now, Egypt was one of the countries targeted as far as the laptop ban came. Um, and I, I think that must have come as a bit of a shock to you with all of this equipment. And how did you react to that? Actually, our reaction is that we proposed uh, an alternative uh, procedure, which has been implemented now. but. Uh, what we have today has been proposed by us and by me personally to uh, some of the countries uh, the day after they announced the uh, uh, restrictions on, on the uh, iPads and, uh, and, and the iPhones and other devices. Um, I'm happy we reached the conclusion we have today and the procedure we have today because uh, in my opinion and also uh, as per some experts' opinion, uh, putting them in the hold of the aircraft was not the right procedure and the safe procedure or safe process uh, and, and the, 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 the most secured way to handle these devices. Now, as, as, as your role as minister, um, you're the largest shareholder in the national character, car uh, carrier Egypt Air. How's the airline going? Because it's a difficult time for airlines, but it looks like you're going back on the purchasing trail and growing the airline again. That's true. Uh, Egypt Air had uh, difficult times. Traffic to Egypt had uh, uh, suffered during the revolution time. Also, uh, um, the, uh, the uh, uh, airline had to play a national role by flying to destinations uh, with very low load factors. They didn't close any of their destinations during the revolution time. It was the only airline almost operating uh, to, to, to Egypt and carrying passengers in and out without looking at the financial viability of the operation itself. Uh, now the uh, airline is, uh, is, uh, is uh, recovering. Uh, financial results are, are getting better. Uh, and. Uh, you will uh, see that we are going to announce uh, the first phase of the second step in modernizing the fleet of uh, uh, Egypt Air. Uh, we're going to announce um, uh, uh, leasing and uh, uh, purchasing uh, something like 40 aircrafts of different types, which is uh, going to allow the airline to uh, reduce its cost even further and also improve the product and the value proposition to the customers.